Hi, I'm uh, Greg from GB Reductions here also working with Mitchell. Today we're back on the Volkswagen Caddy project. Uh, the goal for today's video in between the raindrops is to get the cardboard templates for the windshield and the doors made and then hopefully transfer those over to maybe like a quarter inch plywood or some kind of a, a pressed board like that just so that we have a more solid template and then the idea is we can mark on the template where we're going to cut both cars and that way we cut both in exactly the same place and then when we go to put the front of the blue convertible onto the caddy here it should be as easy as that and weld it aside from the the back of the floor pan for which for the truck here is in really bad shape so we'll have to uh, cut high enough along there which we'll show you here so that we avoid the bad rot and then cut the convertible floor accordingly. Alright so we're just going to try and piece together some cardboard here to fit as much of the windshield to start with as we can. Um, and then hopefully be able to trace whatever's left, trace from the inside with a marker to try and make the cardboard as exact of a fit as we can to where the windshield itself would go. I guess one thought I had too was why don't we just, why don't we just trace a windshield? We could probably just use one of the other windshields out of one of the convertibles as a, as a guide at least. It might not be exact because there is some space in there for the rubber seal. But uh, let's get this cardboard made up here, hopefully, and then we can try a couple of different options for getting the tracing done to make it exactly the right size. as it continues to drizzle on us. All right, so that now should fit mostly for top to bottom there. How is the is that section for centered? Um, I could disregard the little flap and disregard this one. How close are we to center on the actual main section of the cardboard? I think it's okay. I think. So if you just put a little bit of pressure okay, there, I'm gonna set the tripod up yeah. here. I'm just gonna try and trace the and trace the pinch weld on the inside just to give us an idea of the kind of arc that it needs. Just hold just like that gently and make sure you kind of the arc that it needs to follow. It doesn't need to be quite that deep. So can you see that? It's kind of pretty fine but I think it's in there. Yeah, just uh, a bit of a guide to be able to make the best use of this cardboard without um, to cut a whole bunch off and add a bunch back on. It's probably pretty close, I think. Let's try this again now. It's a little more curved. So you don't want much buckle in it. So I'll take a little more off that top part, I guess. Wish I had a better cutting device than a 
box cutter, but you know. If you just hold kind of like that again, I'll try and trace the bottom now. Actually, another way to do this would be probably to just cut from the outside here. be a lot worse but now I can trace or I should be able to trace the rest of this side but I should probably come and trim the same on your side before we move it Pretty good. Looking not too bad so far. Um, so I'll just come and trace. Okay, let me get a your side of the camera. Yeah. It's not the final paint color anyway. No, I don't know what the final paint color is going to be. The problem is the interior I have to work with is like a rusty brown, so unless I'm going to try and find another interior and I have to pick a color that's going to go with that somewhat. Does anything really go with that? <laughs> well, Assuming that the interior was original for this car, this car used to be this color. But I don't know that rust brown really goes with that color either. Okay, let's just try that and see. I don't want to take too much off. Not bad. I don't think it could get too much better. Come this way a little bit. And then hopefully just lay this flat on the wood and just trace it trace out. around it and there might have to be some fine sanding or whatever to make it a perfect fit, but pretty good. It's gonna give us <clears throat> the same height to cut the windshield on both cars, which is the goal. How much cardboard do we really need over there to fill Not in that? Not very yeah. much. This piece should do the job of the rest of that gap, I think. Yeah. Yep. And then some. 
This fits at the bottom there. So. Okay, I'm trying to do it with the floor. wet now but grab the tape there and let's see if we can stick these two together and then we're gonna have to get this piece out of the rain or it's not gonna be of any value to us. I guess maybe a dumb question but why are we tracing out the windshield when the convertible has the same windshield? Uh, well, we still have to confirm that it's the same, but it should be the same. You just mean as opposed to tracing that window frame? Yeah. Well, aren't we chopping it? Like, up here? Uh, as soon as it's straight, stay away from the. And I mean halfway up even would be fine because this part of the car is completely solid on this truck. And the other one doesn't have... Well, I know it doesn't part, have a hurdle. Right? It's like just got the here, right? window frame, yeah. Um, yeah, well, this, once we've got this made, because this is the one that's important. This is the one that matters. Once we've got this made, then we got to go over there, of course, uncover the thing, and make sure that the window frame is actually the same. This is an 81. The guy told me that was an 88, but it's not, because an 88 should have had a urethane windshield, not a rubber seal. So, we can look up the VIN on it though. Of course you can't, again, you can't get to it without uncovering it, but um, we'll put a couple more on this and then that should be good to get it out of the rain at least. Home Depot's good elevator music. Better than real elevator music. Yeah. All right, so I, just, I just finished up at Home Depot here. Got a couple of sheets of what they kind of call quarter inch plywood that we're hoping will be perfect to make the wood templates for the caddy window and uh, door frame so we're gonna head back home now into the steel building and see if we can at least get the windshield one traced and cut and then if the rain will hold off for us we'll make the cardboard for the doors let's watch greg struggle a bit getting the sawhorse open So now that we have killed two hours going into town, getting some Wendy's and getting some almost quarter inch plywood, we can now trace our windshield, our cardboard windshield template onto the plywood. And then we're gonna have some fun with the jigsaw and try and the, the classic job mate, child's play jigsaw. And uh, hopefully find a fine enough blade because this material is only 200 thousandths of an inch or like five millimeters thick. So um, if you have a coarse blade, it's gonna just grab it and jerk the saw out of your hand. So we're gonna start by tracing this cardboard as best we can, holding it flat, and then we'll try cutting it out, see what happens.
So now we get the fun of using a jigsaw to cut this out. Assuming that we can find a half wood, half metal blade. So these are the options we have for blades. Not very much. Oh, there is another pack of blades in here too. If there's not one there, that it will suffice. Probably the thinnest one in here. So this little black guy will do the job that focuses. See how many teeth that one got? I think we're gonna we want, want one with more teeth, right? Yeah, we're gonna want this this one. We'll just cut that part out. So not that one, but we can't even see this. I'm sure they this can. one Might not look that like looks like it has, you know, ten times more teeth than these ones. So Probably the better thing to do would be to pull it out of the bag and then show you guys. Oh, we can do that too. The only thing is if this one is dull, we might go to there. Can you see the teeth? You'll be able to see it. Can you see? I'll be too close. Autofocus. Anyway, that's what we're going to try for. So, horses are out of cutting range, I hope. Looks good. So we're going to see what this blade is going to do here, I guess. I traced the outside of the cardboard, so I'm going to cut... I guess I'm going to cut in the middle of the line. Um, we're definitely going to have some shaving and sanding to do afterward to make it an exact fit for the window frame, but... We'll start with this and see what we can do here. as the protective shield falls off. Great design. support should probably be a little more centralized, but that's okay. shaped windshield template anyone has ever seen. And as the rain starts again. It doesn't really look that bad to be honest. It's a pretty good cut. Well, now we're going to take a walk and see if it fits. Or not. This is my windshield. We're going to put it in the caddy truck now that is unsafe to drive and see if it fits. On first analysis, it doesn't. It's a little fat. Maybe it's gotta be flipped. Move it a little bit this way. So we need to take a little bit off. Oops. And I think that might actually fit, but if we do from How's your side curve going? It's serviceable. That's pretty good. It's definitely not exactly the right shape. 
that's fine. Um, yeah, that top is going to be... probably shouldn't take any more off because you don't want it to be undersized to the point that it's slopping around. All right, so back to the cutting device or sandpaper, whichever is easier. All right, okay, let's back. see if it fits this time. Again. still pretty snug on the top even though I took a fair bit off of there. Oh look That's, at that. It's, we gotta go your way though. Uh-oh. 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 Get out of my ear. There we go. Too far now. Look at that. That's bottom's great. Just this. So we still need to take a little more off of these sections that we didn't take off of before. So from here. Here. You don't want to take that much off. Just a, no, yeah, just a skin, a skinning. The rest of it, I think, is good. How's your curve over there now? It's good. Cool. So, let's go make one more little adjustment. We're not going to bother filming this one. I'm going to go quickly trim these, and then we'll come back and see how it's going to fit. Uh oh. Four. 17,042. Still doesn't fit. Yes, it does. Get down. Get down. So it's pretty close. It's still a little bit. Still a little bit of a buckle, but for the purpose of what we're gonna do, it works beautifully. It just won't stay there. I don't care. As long as when you push down here, and you push down in the middle at the end there, and that is the same, <laughs> then it doesn't matter. So, we on to the doors. Uh, we have one final touch to do here. I would not try to climb on my <laughs> rusted out caddy that has many moving parts that you're not supposed to do. We label the, or we knight the, look, one. Golf. <laughs> Why would it be a golf? Well, it is a golf. Windshield. Actually, it's a rabbit pickup. Yeah, but they changed the name to a golf with Mark II, so. Out. Get out of the car. Get out. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Save yourself. There, I knight the Mark One windshield template out. Template one is done. Oh. So hopefully the, we only have to do one door. So hopefully we only have to do the one door because the doors should be a perfect mirror of each other. You say should be should because in a they may world not. <laughs> where your caddy is straight and doesn't have a huge dent in the side. Now, we thought we fixed that problem last winter in the dent repair video. Of uh, course, we didn't do it perfectly, we, but... We got, like, the amount that the body is still stretched there isn't gonna really affect the door frame. Like, the pinch weld never moved. This part didn't move, but this part did a little bit. And we were able to bring that back a bit. So, ultimately, whether we just cut out that panel, assuming we can get another panel, or we try and do some more body um, tool massaging, and uh, then there's going to be some bondo just to make it a straight surface like the rest of the panel. So, um, yeah, so this one's done at least, and we can put it into storage a little later. 
now we have to come up with some more cardboard piece together and then we'll attempt to make a door panel template. So yeah, we'll go grab the cab cardboard out of the building and we'll be back. <laughs> 